there's literally like someone next to my room and I'm a bit scared and I have to talk a bit um, quieter because they're near me, near my room oh god I hope I don't get caught hello people welcome back to my channel sorry for not posting a video in a week I wanted to take a small break from posting videos and all that other stuff uh, I'll try to make an update video if I can if for some reason it doesn't come out for like a very long time that probably means uh, I got lazy <laughs> so I need to take a small break from video making and all the stuff that's happening um so today I kind of want to do a like a facts video about my DB characters specifically like um December animal room because those two are actually in the game uh, so if you don't know what they are like, just quickly. December is here. This is Imogen. And if you're wondering who this is, I'll talk about her later. But I want to do a, like a, you know, fast facts about December and Imogen. Um, some things that you probably may not know about them. And I barely talk about them on my channel. This is more into further deep. Deepen into like... The backstory of me creating them but i won't go into their actual backstory because it's kind of i haven't really figured it out yet without any further ado let's get started i started db around october 25th 2015 but i didn't create december until the end of november so there's this like wait no 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 it's not the end of november is it okay it's either like Early or okay, it was around November, like so. It was like one month. I didn't create her right away because I kind of felt like, okay, well, first I need to familiarize with the game, then I could create an OC that could maybe I choose to put in the game or not. And her early design was actually like um, a pink play jacket, uh, a tank top, shorts, and dark gray skin pink hair and a sinister face and headphones so that was her early design however it kind of felt weird and didn't fit in well and she looks casual so that didn't happen <laughs> um and her second early design was with her white suit on wearing um uh, like a scarf and earmuff and having a sinister face on I still kept like the cinnamon hair and the dark though to represent like myself because I always wear those two. It kind of felt cringy as well. So then when I was very frustrated of what I could come up with, I decided to do a contest for like, you know, hey, please help me. I'm trying to create an OC and I have like these options that I couldn't like decide. So, it was between that design and then this design right here. And with names, I had so many names that I could pick from. And December's early names were like, she had so many. <laughs> Kenley, Logan, Mizu, Ivalia, Suzuki. There's another one. Serena? <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. I think, I think that's like most of the names. Um, and her early last names were, if I clearly remember, Earl, um, Shui, not S-H-U-I, it's X-U, uh, O, I think, like, the French for water, and I can't remember what else, it's been way, it's been three years, okay? And she was going to have a blue flame, like like the first characters, Dukase, Rufaru. It was going to be like Rufaru, but it didn't really fit well because, to be honest, it felt didn't fit in because I did want her power to be based on water. So I decided bubbles, and the bubble particles in the game were actually by me. I just made a simple one and wanted to do fancy. Well, I wish her bubble particles were like this one here, like the ones from here. It kind of look, it will look better. By the time I um, looked at all the entries, 
the simplest way with that and then the fire early design it fit perfectly and I was so happy and yeah that was the winning entry there were some other entries like showing the shway could have worked but oh I just remembered the other name I could have last name where I could pick was Lee that's a very common last name um Serena Lee could have worked but that felt too popular or too trendy or so um and after I created December, I wanted December to have a sibling, but I wasn't sure of like a brother or sister. So what I did with the other early name, Suzuki could have worked for December, but then I used Suzuki for the twin sister. This here, her name is Suzuki. I didn't know what design I wanted, she was gonna have like a happy face, but that really didn't help me. So I gave her like the little, I forgot it was like sick day face. And this was all completely random, like I'm smashing random hats and that happened. That definitely made no sense. <laughs> and both of them were gonna be bilingual. So they would speak English and then mix in a bit of Indonesian. Or like there's some like Indonesian words or like a, t a complete Indonesian phrase. However, that kind of felt like a ripoff of Maurice because Maurice speaks broken French and that felt more hilarious. So they only speak English and I stuck with that. They didn't speak any Indonesian. Not they won't speak any Indonesian because it felt really weird. If you're wondering why I picked the name December, December happens to be my favorite month and my favorite holiday is Christmas. That kind of sprung off from there. And I guess when that happened, people have made so many jokes about people about characters being related to December who are named after a month like August or July or September or whatsoever. That could have been hilarious. And fan fun fact is that December Suzuki were gonna have a cousin, and his name was going to be October, which is to be named after my fun my birthday month and Lu L U O so the name would be October Lu and they would be related to Sam Suzuki as their cousin and his theme song is pretty red but that kinda of felt really cringy so that didn't happen and then I changed the name to in fairness named after Grand Theft Auto something like the car name and Matahari I forgot the translation it means sun in either Indian or Indonesian or Malaysian I believe um, and it they are not and if you're wondering if influence is ever related to December Suzuki he's not he's just a friend now that the developmental things are out of the way time for some like random facts about them as in December so um, if you're wondering about December Suzuki's relationship with each other as sisters um, they get along like typical sisters. Uh, sometimes they will argue over something or fight with each other or quarrel. But overall, they have a pretty good relationship with each other. They get along like, you know, normal siblings and that stuff. December is very random. She's kind of like me. Um, but she can be co very confident and that stuff. And she's also very adventurous and be willing to try out new things depending on how difficult it is. Suzuki, Suzuki is like, she's willing to try anything. She'll be up for a challenge. The Sambu would be like, be sure about that. Like, she'll be very unsure <laughs> of herself. And she's also very protective. She's very protective of someone who's very close to her and especially her sister. You know, that's what siblings gotta do. She hates thunderstorms, which kind of relates to me because I don't like thunderstorms. And she doesn't like rain, which is very ironic. She is a Californian girl. She likes the sun. She likes the beach. And she just really loves summer. In summer! December is a skilled gymnast. She has a level 8. Um, 
Uh, she, yeah, she used to be a competitive gymnast and then she quit. But she doesn't mean that she'll stop gymnastics forever. She uses it to her advantage in a battle. Um, she also sucks at parkour, like me. I, if you guys know me pretty well, I don't like parkour. And I am a terrible gymnast as well. Um, it does look fun to be honest. I watch like a lot of, not a lot, like I watch a few gymnastics video and it looks like it's fun. But if I try it myself, I'll probably get frightened and not want to do it ever again. Now a bit about Imogen with her design. Her early design was, um, she had rabbit ears on, she didn't have a sword pack, off the shoulder top, shorts, um, and her class would be major, she was going to be a strive OC. That didn't happen, so I recycled that and used some of her design for her to become a DVOC as leader of the FOF squad, which I called Team Natsumi for some reason, and I stopped using that because that felt really weird. And now it's called the FOF squad. <laughs> I know, it's a weird name if you ask me. I'm getting off topic. Um, so when it came with this design, this is one of like her older designs. Uh, I removed her rabbit ears, I gave her a sword pack, I gave her this sword here. It's a knight sword. And much of her design, like the older design, is inspired by Tim Burton's gothic movie, The Corpse Bride. Um, if you haven't seen it, go see it if you're into like horror, gothic -y things. I've seen it two times. Is it a good movie? Heck yes, it's a really good movie. Actually, well animated as well, and it's very beautiful. So, uh, when I saw the final design, I was like, okay, let's be real here. It's way better than how I designed it. <laughs> um, you know, they retextured her hair, made her a custom suit that fits in, changed her skin color and all that other jazz, and gave her a custom sword, a rusted sword. So she did get a complete makeover and I was pretty happy with the result as well. I'll also link the description down below for the actual reaction when I found that Emogen was in the game. It's pretty hardcore. Let's just, that's just all I'm gonna say. Emogen's name comes from two parts. Her first name was named after a singer named Emogen Heap who sang the song Hide and Seek. I'm pretty sure some of you guys recognize that famous like chorus or so in that song. Her last name, Shinji, is a reference to Shinji Hirako, a character from the anime Bleach. And it happens to be like my favorite character. Um, I haven't watched like Bleach in ages, so I can't remember what arc it was where Shinji appeared. So that was it was it was really funny, and that's why I it's seen Imogen Shinji. All of Imogen's moves. Um, were by me, uh, except for the rot, uh, that was not by me. Um, oh, when they were developing Imogen, you know, giving her a makeover, scripting her, and all that other jazz, um, they added the rot feature. And if you don't know what that is, and I can't remember if it was, if I remember correctly, it's like over time, Imogen will rot. And if you see her limbs shaking, then she'll die right away. It kind of makes sense for a zombie to rot at some point. I, I don't know why. I'm so dark. what the heck? All joking aside, um, her rot feature is one of her really unique and main features about her, aside from her moves and all the jazz. Now that the developmental side's are out of the way with Imogen, I'm going to talk about, you know, some random facts about her. So, Imogen looks like a 15 year old, or like a 17 year old, but her actual age is in the 40s. And she was revived 25 years later after death. Um, and she was revived by Hades. And the thing to keep in mind uh, for Imogen is that. Um, if she tells anyone about her backstory, Hades will find out and he'll like bring her back to the dead and like not give her another chance. So she must not tell anybody about 
her backstory as a human. That's like the only promise that she made to Haley. A lot of the zombies are loud and noisy and aggressive. In the Morgan's case, she is quite gentle and quite naive as well. Um, she does make noises, but not as loud as like a typical zombie. I don't know if she can talk as of right now. I still haven't figured that out. She just makes grunts. But I guess she does talk a little bit also. So yeah, I just figured that out now. <laughs> The final fact about Ibogen is that um, she really likes to sleep. She does not like mornings like me. All she just wants to do is like take naps, sleep all day, be lazy in bed. She just, well, I mean, she really likes sleep. <laughs> I mean, don't we all like sleep? I'm pretty sure we all do. That's all for today. Um, I know this isn't really like an exciting video, but I think some people out there are kind of curious about my OCs, specifically December and Imogen. Um, I do have other DB's OCs that I never really talk about on my channel. If you want me to talk about them, uh, I'm happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!